Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Sparnalik in the One Minute Pool on ICC. This is my first game of the session. Uh, let's take and then check. do the check on A4. Um, maybe go Queen B3. Don't know too much about this variation, but, you know, it's a bullet game. I don't think you have to know a whole lot to play this line successfully. I do know that it's bad to take on D4 if you're black. I think he's supposed to go Knight B4 in this position. Uh, he does. I'll go Queen D1. Because I'm not quite sure what to do. Queen d2 also made a lot of sense. Um, it's just castle. Yeah, and he's trying for central play. Now I'll go queen d2. Not sure what I gained really by doing that little uh, two-step with my queen, let's say. Um, yeah, I don't know. This position's not very good. I'm going to sack the exchange and hope for the best. Well, he doesn't take it. Interesting. Could have taken on uh, a1. Well, let's just do this. See if we can net the two bishops. Doesn't want to allow that. Might go c4, but I'll ha I have this move. I actually think this could be annoying for him because I have bishop g4 here. Yeah, and now maybe this. Just to guard my a3 pawn. I'd like to invade down the file with my queen. How about here? Uh-huh. And let's Time. go back. Mm-hmm. He's gonna do that. Okay, so I'm going after his um his pawns over here. Check. Okay, let's go here. Just see what we're gonna be able to do. Check. Oh, that's bad. That's quite unfortunate for me. Check. Check. Okay, but check. Even more so for him. Check, check. Okay. Check. Ah, I didn't quite get it off in time. That guy was really fast. Hopefully we'll get him again. Sparnalik. Or Sparnal IQ, maybe. We'll see. <clears throat> Doesn't really say who he is. Um, yeah, he, he just like pre-moved Rook C3, which actually let me in the game. I don't know, I guess he just assumed I was going to allow him to play that move. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I played queen d1 either, by the way. Queen d2 seems... Well, queen d1 actually instinctively felt like the better move when he played knight b4, because uh, then knight c4, a subsequent knight c4, wouldn't come with tempo. I don't know, though. This is a very specific line. You get that a lot in the Grunfeld. I am surprised he didn't take my uh, rook on a1, though. I was going to try to claim some compensation after um, the recapture, but he didn't do it. Okay, I'm not getting any game right now in the pool, so we'll just have a look at who's playing. Pig on the wing. That is a pretty low rating for a GM. Diego Flores. Hmm. Pretty sure most GMs would be higher rated than that, but you never know in bullet. <laughs> His opponent playing d4, e5. Okay, anybody else in the pool? That game just ended. Buffing. This might be a guy I could play. He's about to flag Resorbiters. Yeah, let's see if Buffin will play. Buffin from Mexico. Nope, I got Resorbiters. Scandinavian time. I've played this IM before. Seems hard to maintain a um, 2,500 plus level when uh, there's not that many high-rated players playing in the pool. Like this time of night is, is pretty tough. This is like uh, late evening U.S. time, so it's pretty tough. I think. Um, let's go. Let's go here. Even though he can take my c6 pawn, we'll just let him do that if he wants to. Now maybe eh, let's go queen a5. He can play a3 though. I will sack the exchange, I think, if he lets me. I have some cool ideas here. We'll see if they come to fruition. Huh. Let me go here. Make him think twice about... Uh... I have some really cool ideas. I just don't know if they work. Uh, can I take that? What's wrong with taking that? Hmm. Um, oh, 
Oh man, I'm just kind of drawing a blank right now. Let's do that first of all. Uh, okay, let's go. Whoa, that was probably not a good idea with this rook hanging on f7. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck is happening in this position? You can just take on g5. Time now. warning. That's good. Yeah. She. Okay, this is a forgettable game. Check. This is an immensely forgettable game. Check. Uh, I don't even know what to do here. Check. Take that, I guess. Um, let's go here. I'll try to primo some stuff. Hmm. Well, clearly the better player won in that game. <laughs> Just kidding. Please nobody take that literally. Uh, um, so I'm playing Sparnal IQ again. Alright, he's actually playing the main line. Bishop b3 is now the main line move. This guy knows what he's doing in this variation. Now g3 is the move. Yeah, and let's go here. We'll see what happens. He definitely seems to know what he's doing. And we'll go here. Bishop f6. Maybe advance like that. Uh, okay, e4. Why not? Why not? Let's go here. And I'm kind of expecting him to play, um, I don't know, I was expecting him to play c5, but I guess that fell by the wayside. Is that a good move? It seems like that pawn might be hard to defend for him. He's going to sack the exchange and try to get compensation. Okay, that's annoying because his bishop can come into e6, but I have this. Let's go here first. Just try to swap Time some stuff. Yeah, he's going to be annoying with his... Um, with his counterplay, let's say. Check. It's going to be very irritating with that counterplay. Um, check. Let's give a check and go here, and see if he'll swap with me. He does. Okay. Check. 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 Okay. Check. Uh, I definitely lost some time against him. Yeah, that's just a real tough player. Whoa, Narquisos is 2669. That's crazy. Okay, this should be fun. Let's see what kind of position Narquisos wants to get into. He's going to take up the gauntlet and play into the Bothanic variation. Fun, fun for the whole family. See how much of this line I remember. Rook g8, I don't know about that move. Um, yeah, I don't know hardly anything about this position he's playing. Let's just uh let's just take here. And then go like that. Seems okay. I don't trust this position for him. This is looking really, really bad. I mean I have bishop h3. Um Check. Yeah, like, it just seems like his king is kind of getting shredded. I guess I'll just go here for now. Um, hmm. Maybe bishop d5. I mean, very, very tough position. He's threatening queen takes g3, cheapo. Let's just take, yeah, my F pawn, my queen side, or my king side mass is just huge here. Uh, okay, I will gladly trade there. Time warning. Okay, let's go back. That was not a successful operation. Check. Let me give a check, and then bring our king up. And he resigned. Or forfeited on time. Okay, so this dude again. I don't know what how to play against this guy. 
He's super duper fast. Spartal IQ. Like, really, really fast. Maybe I'll just play like a... Um, he pre-moved that move, that's for sure. I was going to say, maybe I could just play like a some some way to try to catch him in a pre-move. You know, that might be our best bet. Um, let's go bishop g5. Just, just mess with him a little bit. See if he'll play some random stuff like um, some ill-conceived attack. At least now I can come to e4 with my queen. Um, he's going to put his bishop on c6. So let's see. a3 seems useful. Um, let's go here and then push d5. Because even though he can do that move... Um, well, okay. Maybe I didn't think that out well enough. Let's go here. Uh, okay, I guess we'll take. He can take here, though. But the fact that I'm at least getting him to think is nice. Because that wasn't happening earlier. This position's kind of dangerous for him still. So I hope to be able to, like, you know, at least make him think because of that. Let's go here. Play the bishop back. I have knight d6 whenever I want it. It's just a hard time doing anything. Knight c7 is now possible. Okay. Let's see if he'll trade. I gotta neutralize this time. Disadvantage. Check. No easy decisions for him. Ch check. Check. Okay. So that might be the key. Just do something complicated against him. Just to try to, like, um, get him to think, really. Don't let him play, like, simple, fast moves. Okay, this Jason Cow guy I played the other day, and I thought he was pretty, pretty resourceful and fast. Although I didn't think, like, I was getting bad positions against him. I mean, the setup is not good for white. <laughs> He's already wasted quite a few moves, I'd say. Um, let's just go rook e8. Bishop f5, why not? h6, maybe I can drop my... Um, hmm, let's go knight d3. See how he reacts to that. Um, okay. I guess I gotta retreat. My mistake. Okay, let's go here. Um, just centralize. I feel like I should be doing well in this position. Uh, I'm not sure though. I think he's going to simplify. He does not. I keep waiting for him to trade somewhere, but he never does it. Okay, let's go here now. Just keep waiting for him to trade, and he hasn't done it yet. Okay, now he's going to have to do something really awkward with that knight. Okay. Um, Time warning. Let's take this way. Oh, wow. I've got these two, two pass pawns in the center. Uh, I mean, this is pretty glorious, I'd say. But he's not going to give up the ghost Check. so easily. Check. All right. Resign. All right, I'm getting some rating points back. This is actually turning into be a, turning out to be a pretty good session as far as opponents go. A lot of people are showing up in the pool. The sharks are coming out. They smell blood, right? Please play bishop c6 so I can go knight d5. That would be nice. He's not going to do that. Uh, that was a horrible move, just allowing bishop takes a4. He didn't see it. Um, he can play bishop f6 now, though. He didn't see that either. <laughs> All right, I'm getting kind of fortunate. Uh, let's go here. And then maybe I can pressure his pawn on d6. Maybe I can go queen f4. Maybe I can go h4. I have a little bit of pressure in the present position. It's not much, but I'll work with it. I have a feeling he wants to try to go g5. Better go here, just to see if we can put even more pressure on that point. 
Well, he's defending d6 with everything he has. So now is the time to start trying to play for a win. If he takes, I can go e5. That's nice. Okay, so he doesn't. We'll go here. Now the battle may revolve around the file. f5 maybe? No. He might go f5. Now he will definitely go f5. Uh, okay, we'll do that. And then maybe here. Okay, I'm not quite sure what to make of this position. Check. Um, I think we'll go there and try to go after his pawns. Check. Yeah, he has hardly any time, so. Okay, I'm on a little bit of a winning streak, and as long as these high-rated players are in the pool, I'm going to keep this train rolling, because I've got a few upsets already against them today. Um, let's go b6 in this position against Mr. Narquisos, and we'll see how he plays it. Uh, let's go queen e7. I think I might actually be slightly worse now, but um, yeah, I'm definitely slightly worse at this point. f6. It's kind of, I'm having to play some ugly moves, some ugly-ish moves, you know? Let's go here. Maybe I can try to swing my rook up to the square and like trade some Check. pieces with him. It's about my only way of getting counterplay at the moment. Maybe I can go queen d5 next. It's a nice move to be able to get in. Ah, uh, ooh, knight takes f3 doesn't quite work. So let's just go h5. Let's go here. Time warning. Let's go here. He's queen c4 pretty much, or bishop c4 when he wants it. Hmm, tricky position. Uh huh. Well, I got out of that mess. Alive. Reasonably so. Hmm. Let's go here. He's like inconveniencing my knight a lot in this position. Check. Check. And I don't like that so much. Check. 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 All right. I lost that one, but I will live to fight another day. So I'm at 25-28 for the session. Um, we'll see if, how many more I want to play. I'm not going to put a number on it, let's say. As long as the action keeps coming hot and heavy, we'll do it. All right. D4. I wonder who Narquisos is. I think I kind of knew who he was, but I've forgotten because I haven't played him in at least a couple weeks. Uh, let's go here, bishop d3. So we're playing the main line of the exchange, qgd. Okay, and I'll castle. Play h3. And go here. Let's go g4. And I think I like this move, knight e5. Uh, why don't we play h4? And then, you know, maybe maybe just sack. Maybe just sack. Okay, this looks really, really dangerous for him. I just got to figure out what's the best way to play. I'm just going to shove my H-pawn. I'm not sure this was the best way to play, but <laughs> this is what we're going with. So we've got an unusual position brewing. Make sure he doesn't blockade my pawns so easily. Uh, let's go here. And Check. I have that little tap, Check. which is nice. Top. Which is very convenient for me. Because now I will just win, and he resigned.
Okay, Jason Cow again. Beat him last time. Now you will get the Scandi treatment. Check. Whoa, Queen takes? Really? You're surprised by that decision. All right. Um, clearly, I am playing this opening horribly. At least I can go 95 here. Check. This doesn't look that great for him, though. <laughs> this is funny. Knight d5. Uh, okay, that's that's really funny, actually. Let's go here. So you can go c4. Now I'll do this. And then... Oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> well, I can take. And then he takes d5 and I go bishop c6. This is a funny position. Oh, he can save it. Ah. Uh, that's not fair. I can save it that way too. Let's castle, just because... Oh, I can't castle. That's illegal. <laughs> this is a ridiculous game already. Check. I'll give a check, just because. Just because. Um, huh? Okay, let's go here. I'm down a full rook right now. Desperately trying to make something out of this position. I'm also down about 10 seconds on the clock. So there's Check. that too. Check. King raid. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to go king raid. Check. Check. Uh-huh. Check. I nearly checkmated him. Check. Check. Hmm. Check. 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 All right, I resign. <laughs> That was kind of a funny game, just because of the way in which he tried to fork me. Like, what is queen takes d3? He kind of caught me pre-moving with that, though. Or, like, at least playing fast. He, he always does something really weird in the opening, I've noticed. Like, always something strange. It's so like, here, he's actually gonna... I'm gonna see if I can catch him. Okay, he didn't play b5 quickly. See if I could... I, I wanted to try to catch him playing b5, but it didn't work. Alright, so we've got a normal position. Normal-ish. I think he's going to go knight h5. Maybe not. See, like, what is this? What is going on? I don't get this setup for him <laughs> at all. Uh, okay, let's go here. And let's drop the bishop back. Looks pretty good to do that. Um, maybe drop this guy back, too. He has bishop a6, doesn't he? Um, okay, well, I'll just go here. And then we'll plunk this dude on d3. I like my position a lot, still. Um, okay, let's go here. And... Uh, rook c1. Might as well. Let's go here. I just want to get that knight in somewhere. It's high time we did that. I mean... Time warning. Time warning already? Okay, go here. His position is kind of collapsing. Oh, just as I said that. I mean, my position is kind of collapsing. He's not taking my material. Why don't you do that? Please don't see mate on h6. Check. Brings the queen in. That's a good move, because I don't really have Check. anything against that. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, I'm in big trouble. All right, I resign. I flagged. This is weird. I have weird games against him. I don't quite, like, understand his style. It's really strange. It's just like a bizarre style of play. Okay, well, um, let's castle. Sure. Maybe e4. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's do this. You can win that pawn. I'm okay with that. Maybe we get some pressure against your position. Hey, he has trouble bringing his knight out. I can go knight g4 next move. That's the plan. Okay, knight g4. And what to do here? d6 maybe? Yeah. Just Check. take. Um, let's go here. 
Oh, but he has knight b4. Knight b4. Do I care? Not right now, I don't. Check. At least I can try to come to um, the queen side. Or the king side, I mean, with my queen. I mean, he's like pretty much cut off. As soon as I play queen h5, I'm threatening um, just mate, basically. Okay, let's go here, first of all. With the plan of going here, what's he going to do about rook takes h7? I don't think he has much in the tank against that. Yeah, this is over. If he moves his bishop, like bishop g7, then queen takes f7 as mate. Time warning. So check. I have this move. Yep, over. Okay. Jason Cow, again, I gotta beat this guy. I gotta do it. It's really a little annoying that I can't win against him. I mean, I have been uh, a couple times, but not a, with any regular consistency. That's redundant. Regular consistency. With any consistency, let's say. Hmm. Let's just break in the center. So I don't know what he's doing. Bet he goes c5. He does not, so I'll do this. And then I'll play like knight b6 and, you know, maybe come to... Check. Come to d5 with my other knight at some point. I'm just going to pressure that center pawn. I like that I have knight d5. That was uh, played in order to threaten queen takes g6, what he just did there. Um, okay, let's go here. Check. Uh, let's go here. And let's go here. Just to keep him at bay. Yeah, he takes. Makes sense. So this endgame, what to think about this endgame? Don't know why he gave me that pawn. Check. Not sure about that. Okay, I can go here. Mm hmm You go attack that pawn. Check. Check. Oh, <clears throat> what's going on with this? Check. Oh, I do not know why I did that. And moreover, I don't know why I did that one. Check. No, he got me with the free move. That was disgusting. All right. I drew that after having a winning... Well, probably winning position in that rook end game, and also with uh, a time advantage. <laughs> that was just bad. I just thought my, my B-pawn was walking on water. I just played B2. Like, come on. Come on, John. Uh, okay, so... Hmm. I'm at 2548, so there's a lot of stuff going correctly at the moment. I'm going to get out and get back in. Maybe the action has slowed down just a little bit. Let's play one more game. We'll play one more. Been some pretty interesting games thus far today. Jason Cow. Not been able to shake him. I guess I've split my games with him. No, no, I'm minus one against him. Never mind. Did okay against Narquisos. Two out of three against him. Overall, gaining points. It's nice to be like in the middle of the pack, like playing a bunch of these guys who are similar in rating. All right, come on. Give me one more game I'm trying to get in the pool, and it's not pairing me with anyone. Uno mas. Hmm. <laughs> One more? <laughs> it's really... Really not happening. I'm probably going to end up playing Sauerkraut. Massively underrated at 2296. But do I really care? No. 
I mean, I kind of care, but how much can you really care about bullet ratings? This position is a draw, I think, but now maybe white can win. Wow, white won that. That was a nice game by Mac and Chess. Like Mac and Cheese. All right, Sparnel IQ. This will be our last game of the night. And I gotta stay. Check. Ooh, that was funny. He tried to catch me pre moving Queen A5. That was actually kind of funny. <laughs> he tried. Oh, that's silly. Really pretty amusing. Now, I'd really like to avoid losing. Um. Because that would, that would be pretty embarrassing if I lost from this position. I mean, not saying it won't happen, but, uh, you know, after that B4 move, he tried to catch me in. Okay, next I can go C4, so that's cool. Let's go here. I'm still threatening C4. Still threatening C4. Um, should we honestly castle queenside? Sure, why not? Let's go here. I mean, I think my knight can, like, take care of business over there, um, defending the king. Let's just go here. And I'm going to try to bring my queen over to h5 in order to just get some relief, basically. Okay, now I have this move. And then I have this move. And he's losing the house. <laughs> okay, that, that's a funny way to go out. So he thought I was pre-moving queen a5 because I always play queen a5 against knight c3, but that's <laughs> such a blatant attempt to catch a pre-mover. But I don't play pre-move that much. I mean, <laughs> it reminds me of people, like I had one game where um, my opponent actually played b3 in this position and I went queen a5 check, so, or queen e5 check. It's the same thing. So, oh, funny. All right, so let's tabulate the results of this session. Played quite a few games. We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wins. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 losses and a draw. Okay. So 8, 5, and 1. It's all right. And where are we at on the rating list? Finns sitting at 2557. A rough and ready 2557. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that bullet session. I'll be back tomorrow with another bullet video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.